Hey everybody, it's Dr. Kara, professional animal communicator, founder of the Animal Wisdom Circle, and creator of the Animal Wisdom Oracle Card Deck. And one of the things that I love most in the world is to take my spiritual guidance from wildlife, from animals in nature. And because I'm an animal communicator, I like to do that in a couple of ways. One, I like to just ask them, what's it like to be you? What lessons can you share with me? And, and two, I like to then remember those messages and symbols. So if I see that animal again out in nature, then um, it's a reminder to me of those qualities that they shared with me. And one really powerful way that I like to use animal wisdom in my life is to get the inspiration from the animals and see where I'm living that and where I'm not living that. And then in the places that I identify where I'm not living that, where I'm the opposite of peaceful and calm and so I'm upset and tense, um, then I do some EFT tapping and I clear those patterns. So it's really like the animals are guiding me on my spiritual growth path and they're acting as a mirror for me for what I need to look at and what's coming up to be healed inside of me so I can be a bigger, better, new, improved version of myself. <clears throat> And so this month, I want to share with you the wisdom of the sperm whale. And we're going to do some tapping on that. The sperm whale is really about being balanced and adaptable and flexible and in integrating the lightness and the darkness in life and, and really being aware of how we determine our experience of life. We're in charge of how we feel about whatever it is that we're going through. And that's empowering. So that's the real inspiring wisdom of the sperm whale. But the flip side of that is oftentimes we feel small and powerless and we have a lot of shoulds that we put on ourselves. We're out of touch with the lightness and the darkness. We don't want to look at our shadow and all of that. So this is just kind of my way of, of saying welcome to my world. And this is what I do in my, my personal life. And I want to share it with you because it's also what I do in my professional life. But I really believe that we can be, become better people by looking to the animals for guidance and then following that guidance and finding what is inside ourselves that's ready to be healed. So let's do that today. Let's use the sperm whale as a mirror for ourselves and our own personal spiritual growth and find the places that might be tight or tense inside of us and let's breathe some life into them. Let's release that tension so that we can express more of that calm, balanced, adaptable, fluid, open, powerful way of being that the sperm whale models for us. Okay, so <clears throat> um, I'm just getting over a little bit of a sore throat, so my voice feels, sounds funky to me, but I'm really excited to do this with you. So a couple of things. Number one, take responsibility for your own well-being. And number two, when in doubt, keep tapping. If a big emotion comes up, just tap and breathe, tap and breathe, tap and breathe, and that will help release that. There's always that possibility that we can tap into something, you know, kind of a big and gnarly and scary from our past, a big emotional event. And if that does happen, just stay grounded, stay centered, stay with it, breathe and tap and, and work through that. So hoping it doesn't, but if it does, I just want you to know that, that you can just do that. So, um, so here we go. We're going to start with tapping on the inverse of the sperm whale wisdom. So starting with a setup phrase, we're going to repeat after me. If anything that I say is not the words you would use, feel free to change it to your own words. So here we go. Even though I'm afraid to look at my shadow side, I just don't want to know what's down there. I still love and accept myself. Even though I know that sometimes I get into rigid thinking and I put a lot of shoulds on myself, but I know I can heal that today and I still love and accept myself. And one more, even though it feels like the, out, the authority is outside of me. Somebody out there knows better than I do. I'm reclaiming my inner power and my ability to be a leader in my own life. 
I know that I determine my experience and the power is within me, just like the sperm whale. And then we're gonna move to the tapping points. And I apologize, because it looks like my camera isn't in a good place. Let me see if I can fix that a little bit. That's a little bit better. Um, so if you, this point right here is the one that people can't see, just do your little scarecrow thing and hit the side of your ribs. Um, but the other ones you should be able to see. So we're gonna move to the tapping points. All this tension in my body, all this tightness, it's a manifestation of my rigid thinking, my limitations, thinking that things should be other than how they are, <clears throat> thinking that somebody else knows better than I do. And then here we go, scarecrow. All this tension, I realize I'm creating tension in my body by my habitual thought process. And I'm ready to change that. I'm ready to welcome new, relaxing, positive thought habits. <clears throat> I'm letting go of all those shoulds. There are no more shoulds in my life. I'm releasing all of that tension that comes along with shoulds. I should do this. I should do that. <clears throat> they should do it this way. They shouldn't do that. I'm releasing that need to boss myself and everybody else around. I'm giving up control and trying to fix every situation around me. I'm letting life unfold as it is and moving into acceptance. I'm really letting go of all these shoulds. And I'm ready to go within and see where I've been being a bully to myself, shooting on myself, not accepting myself the way that I am. I know I can be gentler, more accepting, and more loving with myself and everyone around me. And I know it starts with me being nice to myself. So I'm just releasing all of these shoulds. I'm loving and accepting myself exactly the way I am. And I realize as I do that, that my body feels more relaxed, less tense, more flexible, open, adaptable, and calm. I'm finding peace by accepting myself exactly as I am today, right here, right now. I am the authority in my life. And I'm, I forgive myself for looking outside of myself for guidance and authority. My authority resides within me. Nobody else is in charge of my life. I am in charge of my life and my experience. <clears throat> and I mean that in the most positive way, not over responsibility, but just accountability and the ability to respond to life exactly as it is. I'm just gently moving into acceptance of myself and life. And that's bringing me peace and calm, and the ability to respond to whatever shows up, letting go of rigid thinking, limiting beliefs, and the belief that life should be anything other than exactly as it is. 
right now? How perfect is this moment? I freaking love exactly how my life is right now with all its messiness, with all its challenges and problems and limitations. I'm falling in love with myself and my life. And like the sperm whale, I'm ready to be big and powerful and bold, adaptable, flexible, accepting, open, integrating all parts of my life, light and dark, and making peace with myself and making peace with what is. Swimming through life as my inner authority with balance, equanimity, clarity, and power. Founded by loved ones. That's the best. Take a deep breath. Take a moment to think about the beautiful sperm whales. They're so incredible. They dive so deep. They live in those really tight family groups. They rest together. They feed together. They play together. They have those amazing intricate languages. They have these really unlikely bodies too. <laughs> those little teeny pectoral fins on those huge bodies. They're just ridiculous and awesome and perfect, just like you, just like me. We're ridiculous and awesome and perfect. So I'm choosing to embrace my sperm whale nature, letting the sperm whale be a mirror for me to see what's inside of me, that power, that connection, that equanimity, and that peace. Take a deep breath. Let it out. I love and accept myself. And I see the wisdom of the sperm whale inside of me and my life. And then as you're ready, just allow that tapping to come to completion. I always like to take an extra deep breath at the end. And, <clears throat> and take a moment to just check in with your body. How do you feel right now? What's going on physically? Do you have any tension? Do you have any places that feel more relaxed? My, my body's kind of moving more. I feel more fluid um, after doing that tapping. So um, sperm whale reminds us to come back to the present moment by tapping into our physical body, by being aware of how we feel physically. And that brings us into the present moment. That's where our power resides, not in the past, not in the future, right here, right now. So um, thank you for tapping with me. And I invite you to take the sperm whale wisdom with you wherever you are. And remember that you are peaceful. You are the leader in your life. And you have the power. Have a great day. Bye, everybody.